Hi there and welcome to another Light Rider Tips video and today I want to talk about Hardware Manager and how you can use this little app um, either on your Windows uh, computer or uh, MacBook to uh, set up your LR512 or the My DMX Go hardware interface. Now when those guys get shipped to you uh, straight out of the box uh, they have there are a number of kind of default settings um, that aren't always the best particularly for Wi-Fi setup. Um, uh, there's the the actual interface faces themselves support something like 15 different Wi-Fi channels and they all ship set to Wi-Fi channel num number one which is typically the most uh, congested Wi-Fi channel because most routers and other uh, Wi-Fi devices uh, kind of default to that particular channel. So to get to the actual hardware manager app, um, easiest way is to head over to the Lightrider um, app or lightrider.com web page uh, scroll down if you in fact at the top you can click the download item uh, icon uh, and uh, that will take you to a number of items and if you scroll down you'll find one that says hardware manager and there's a version for mac and a version for pc uh, if you download uh, either one of those i'm using a mac at the moment um, uh, the mac one for example will download a disk image It'll, you can open it up you can see what the uh, the the uh, disk image looks like. Um, you'll just see a, a little icon for Hardware Manager. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to start this. Let's have a look. Have I managed to do this? Just click this. Mine is being a bit of a donut. No, here we go. Right. So you'll get Hardware Manager. Now, I'm using a Light Rider LR512 uh, connected via a USB C cable to my MacBook. Uh, if you click Hardware Manager to start it up, uh, you're, uh, you're, you may get this message if you're on a MacBook and it's just a kind of a security question. So what happens is you'll see this. Uh, you'll see on the left hand side a uh, an image of your kind of LR512. Uh, you may also see something looks uh, uh, similar to this for the My DMX Go. If you click this, uh, it will connect to it. Uh, your interface will probably light up um, and have the the letters LI for it on there if it's uh, if it's an LR five twelve, um, uh, which shows that it's connected. Uh, and you'll see uh, straight away a few uh, bits of information about your interface. Um, you'll see that its internal device type is an SUIDI ten A. Um, mine has mine has a physical name of a Light Rider LR five twelve. Its serial number, the product details, etc. Um, if you click, uh, this is on the inf information tab, if you click down to SUT, uh, you'll see all of the licenses that are actually installed on this device itself. So as you'll see, uh, mine includes a Light Rider full license for life for both iOS and Android, which simply means that I could use uh, the Light Rider app uh, with this particular interface um, uh, for, uh, for its lifetime. Um, there are some other uh, licenses installed on there. You'll also see it's got 128 standalone uh, DMX channels, um, but those channels are in fact time limited. So you can see that there is a finite amount of time. In fact, at the top, it says offline remaining use is something like 46 days. Um, I very rarely use mine offline, so that's not going to cause me an issue. Uh, there's a firmware section in here, which you can use to update firmware as well. If um, there is in fact a separate app um, that you can uh, you will have to download if you want to update firmware as well. Um, there's a couple of sections on DMX out. Um, if you haven't got anything connected, then don't be alarmed because it looks like they're both off. But um, that's probably simply because there's nothing connected. Um, I/O port has got some buttons. So if you actually click the buttons on your LR512, you'll see. Look, if I click the, um, I've got three buttons on mine, so um, I can that lights up the next, which kind of just shows that those buttons are working. Uh, I've no idea what they actually do because um, I've never used them on the interface, but just kind of proves that they're working. Uh, and then there's some settings around uh, around this particular device. Um, Ethernet, this dot box does not have a physical Ethernet connection, so you cannot connect it directly to a network uh, router, but it does have Wi-Fi, and Wi-Fi is the most interesting tab in here. So uh, now this device can operate in one of three modes. Uh, it can operate as an access point, uh, which means that your tablet, either your Android or iPad, um, will connect to this as if it were um, a router itself. So this, so in other words, this will create, an access point will create a Wi-Fi network uh, that your tablet will connect to. Um, that, that network name, or its SSID, in my particular case, is the Light Rider Wi-Fi DMX. So uh, if I were to fire up my iPad, 
um, and search for Wi-Fi networks, um, it should find a, a network called Lightrider Wi-Fi DMX. Uh, that uses an encryption type of WPA2. Um, I've uh, I've currently set my password to, to all zeros just for the purposes of this video. Um, and you'll see uh, that mine is currently set to channel one. Uh, the other options that you have available uh, are in the little drop down. Uh, so you can have it set to station mode. Now station mode is where your Wi-Fi, uh, your uh, LR512 or your MyDMX Go uh, will connect to an existing network. So for this, you will need a separate router um, in either at home and at your venues, at your gigs. Now you may choose to take along something like an airport Express, for example, on Apple Airport Express, uh, which are great little routers to take away um, uh, to venues. Um, uh, and uh, so if you choose to do that, then you can set up your LR512 or your MyDMX Go to connect to your Apple Airport Express uh, Wi-Fi network. And some people I know find those particular uh, routers uh, more reliable than the uh, than the onboard kind of Wi-Fi routers in the um, in the LR512s. Uh, so uh, that's an option that you have. Um, you can also uh, set your LR512 or my DMX Go to run in dual mode. Now dual means that when it starts, um, it will attempt to connect to the existing network that you've told it about. And uh, if it cannot find that network, for example, if that's your home network, uh, then it will then create uh, its own Wi-Fi network for you to use. So this is kind of the best of both worlds. If you want to be have your LR512 connected to your home network whilst you're at home, uh, but then create an existing Wi-Fi, uh, sorry, create a new Wi-Fi network when you go to a venue uh, for your gigs. Um, I have tried this. Um, it works reasonably well, but um, uh, but as I said, you know, uh, you do need to test this. I'm not going to promise this is going to work perfectly uh, for everyone. This is something that you need to test. Uh, and obviously, you don't want to be testing at a real gig. So I would be taking this out somewhere outside of your home to try it out. Um, and I would definitely have the hardware manager uh, app here on my MacBook or my Windows PC so that if anything should go wrong, I could switch it back into access point mode um, and then connect to it. Otherwise you're gonna find that you're gonna be stuck at a gig. Anyway, right, on to the actual settings themselves. Um, so you can change the SSID. I'm gonna leave mine just uh, running as access point. In fact, no, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch mine uh, into dual mode. Um, uh, I'm gonna, the first thing I'm gonna do is I would normally change the password. Um, so this is something that you should do. Um, you wanna make sure that you've got um, a secret password uh, that only you know, so that uh, any of your guests that try to connect to your network, if uh, at a gig, uh, can't guess your password. So make sure that you choose something secret. Um, the other thing that I would definitely encourage you to do is change the channel. Now, uh, there's a whole load of uh, advice out there on which are the best channels uh, to use. Uh, personally, uh, channel one um, is is often the most congested channel because, uh, as you can see, most routers will connect. Uh, we'll, sorry, we'll create a Wi-Fi network on channel one. Uh, uh, so any other venues uh, are likely to be doing the same thing and therefore these networks are quite congested. Um, I would personally encourage you to choose a channel uh, further up uh, the chain. Um, so uh, something like either channel seven or 11. Uh, and I choose those two numbers because uh, there's some uh, some good uh, kind of evidence to show that they are less congested simply because they have fewer adjacent channels uh, that cross over within the kind of spectrum uh, that the uh, Wi-Fi networks use. So channel seven um, or 11 are usually a particularly good choice, although it may vary um, uh, uh, your own circumstances may vary. So I'm gonna set mine to channel um, 11. In fact, no, I'm gonna choose channel seven for mine. Um, I also use an ADJ um, Airstream DMX bridge um, and I've got that running on channel 11. So I'm gonna switch my LR512 to run on channel seven. Okay, uh, important that you click uh, store at this point. If you don't do that, then those settings won't get remembered. Um, and you may find that your uh, your interface uh, lights up. I had a little blue light just pop up on mine as I hit the store button. Um, station mode 
Now this can produce some uh, quite interesting results. So if I click station, you'll only this will only uh, be available if you've chosen either station mode or dual. Uh, so you'll see a list of uh, local networks, uh, one of which is my home network here. So I could connect uh, the LR512 to my home network, and I'm going to do that. So I'm going to quickly type in a password and connect up. So now the little blue Wi-Fi light has lit up on my LR512, and I'm hoping, after a few seconds, uh, that this will connect. Uh, and then uh, something interesting usually happens, um, and that's that uh, hardware manager will find uh, two instances of my LR512. This is now not going to work. Just uh, just when I wished it would, it's probably not going to connect. Uh, there we go, unable to. Uh, oh, we'll see. Well, maybe it has. Uh, maybe that message was a bit of a spoof. Um, so you're now seeing uh, two versions of the LR512 on the left hand side. Um, and that's because the top version is the one that the, the hardware manager can see when it's connected uh, via USB cable. And it can also see uh, an LR512 connected via Wi Fi. So this LR512 genuinely is now connected to my uh, Wi-Fi network. Um, this isn't uncommon, I'm afraid. You may get some rather bizarre uh, messages pop up uh, when you are uh, using Hardware Manager, particularly over Wi-Fi. So, so by, con by selecting the, the second of the two items, you'll notice that the icons are very slightly different. This one is, a, is a, wi a network connection, and this one here is a USB connection. So if you scroll down the list now, uh, you'll notice there is no Wi-Fi option uh, within Hardware Manager whilst connected to Wi-Fi. And I guess that kind of makes sense, because you wouldn't want to go and change the Wi-Fi settings whilst you are connected by uh, by Wi-Fi. Um, personally, I find that generally it's a good idea if you're making changes uh, to restart uh, the Hardware Manager app and your DMX interface. So um, I am going to, in fact, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to close Hardware Manager and I'm going to restart my interface. I'm going to pull the, the USB cable out and connect it back in again. Uh, so now we'll probably find uh, when I start Hardware Manager again, uh, that this will uh, this will show it's, this should show up uh, twice again because as I said this is going to be connected via USB and also potentially via Wi-Fi. Um, uh, I'm going to just go and check to see what this, what settings have been saved here. So I've chosen uh, the LR512. I'm going down to Wi-Fi, um, and we'll see if it's actually remembered. Uh, my connection. No, it hasn't. So it obviously didn't connect. Um, that's why I always say it's a good idea to restart Hardware Manager and restart your Light Rider interface uh, just to make sure um, that it's actually saved your settings. Um, this did save uh, the settings of being set into dual mode, but it clearly hasn't remembered my network settings. I'm going to try that one more time, see if it'll do it. Let's see if it will actually connect to my hub uh, and therefore. Uh, show up as Wi-Fi. Right, okay. Right, that does look better. Right, no error messages this time. Um, there's no save option when you've connected via uh, via Wi-Fi. So um, I'm going to just, in fact, before, I'm not going to do anything now. I'm going to quit Hardware Manager, restart my LR512 again. Right, so I've just unplugged it, plugged it back in again, wait for it to start up, and then start Hardware Manager again. Let's see what this does. Let's see if this is now remembered my Wi-Fi settings. Is it going to find it again via network? So sometimes it does. It may be that it's because it's connected via USB. Uh, then it will uh, it will not retain my um, uh, Wi-Fi. It does. It's currently refreshing. Uh, it's going to say unable to connect. Let's click the refresh network list button and see what it does. So, uh, no, still not showing as connected. Okay. Um, I, as I said, I, I have had some success with this with this working. I very definitely had um, the LR512 connected to my uh, home network and then working um, uh, away. But um, uh, I'll be honest, uh, I typically have mine running in access point mode um, all the time. Uh, because I generally only want it to be uh, creating a Wi-Fi network. 
um, uh, for the purposes of some of the videos that I do switch it into station mode, but for the for gigs, um, I pretty much always have it running in access point mode, uh, which means that it creates its own network. Okay, uh, so uh, that's that's kind of it. That's a brief tour of Hardware Manager. Um, uh, the important points here are that you can find out a little bit about your uh, your device. You can see what firmware it's running. Uh, you can, uh, you can, uh, but most importantly, you can set uh, the Wi-Fi mode. Uh, uh, I have mine running in access point mode. You can give it a name. So you, could, if you, you, you know, you could choose to make it a little bit more obscure, not call it Light Rider, but uh, Wi-Fi DMX, but something else. Um, you can set your own password so that it's not easily guessable. But most importantly, for the kind of for best Wi-Fi Wi-Fi performance, um, I would strongly recommend that you move away. Uh, from channel one, uh, go to something like channel seven or 11, um, and then make sure you click that store button. Okay, and then uh, once you've done that, uh, just uh, do the sensible thing, Qu click quit hardware manager, uh, disconnect your and power off and on your LR512, and then, uh, and then restart hardware manager to make sure that it has remembered your settings. Let's just fire it up one more time, connect it up to make sure it's it's uh, it's retained those settings, um, and then you can uh, kind of be sure that it's working properly. Oh no, look at that! Mine switched back to dual mode. Okay, just when I was uh, hoping it was going to behave itself, I want it to uh, I want it to do all this. Is it going to do this now? I'm not quite sure whether it's actually storing it or not. Um, don't you just love it when it all works first time? I'm going to quit the game and restart, see if it will actually show as being running in access point mode. Here we go, one more time. So we'll just wait for it to start, click this, and then is it going to be running in, it's still running in dual mode. Obviously can't stop mine from running. What on earth is going on with this? Oh well, I'm going to try one more time. Anyway, but you can try this yourself and see how you get on. Uh, so um, uh, I hope you found this uh, vaguely useful. Um, very definitely go and set those channel numbers to something other than one because that will be, that's the biggest cause of uh, Wi-Fi dropouts uh, at gigs simply because those because Wi-Fi channel one is so congested. Uh, um, if you need any, any other help or got any other questions, then uh, either comment on this video or head over to the uh, Light Rider and My DMX Go. Uh, Facebook or help and support Facebook group. Um, there's uh, a good few people over there that will be able to help you out. But uh, that's it for me. Thank you very much.